off right off the bat. So we, we started this with data, and I'm sure it's going to go off track very quickly. I know the three of you already, and we've been talking uh, the last couple hours uh, different things. But uh, what, let's, let's talk about data, because data is a big part of what we've got to be able to think about in terms of innovation, certainly something Edison looked at. What is your vision for data in the company, and then how do you use it? You know, what's the, the how, the why, the when? You know, so I start with you, Jim. Oh, great. Okay, so we, we obviously are in nanotechnology, and, and that means we deal with everything that's, you know, like a billionth of a meter, so it's small. And how do we even know that the stuff it, you're working on really is real? That's what I. Because <laughs> it works, and it actually, we, we actually, you know, small is the new big, you know that, right? Exactly. Okay. So, so uh, you got to think small, right? Yeah. So you got all this. It's tough. And uh, data is small. So any, any, we, we look at data no different than anybody else. Uh, the most important thing is, is that the data be accurate. And so there's data everywhere. You, you now combine, though, AI into data, and suddenly you're being able to interpret the data. You, AI interprets it for you, delivers it to you, and you know it's up in the cloud, but so magically it comes to you faster, and it comes to you with you know, maybe um, you know, a, a way to actually get visualization on it. And that's, that's the most important thing, because you can actually you know, use it. You've got a kind of a heads-up display to run whatever it is that you're running, but it all depends on the X and the Y axis. For us, you know, and, and we're in chemicals and things like that, the X axis, you know, is, is obviously the application. The Y axis is, you know, the, the amazing chemistry and the things that we make that are very unique. Uh, and then the in-between is all the data. And that's got to be computed. And, and, you know, with big data, we can do that faster. We can deliver it with visualization and, and, and make it accurate. And, and then the last thing that's really important, though, in big data is you're, you, you've got to get comfortable with it because you've got to believe it. It's kind of like being a, a pilot, you know, and if you don't believe your instruments, you, you won't use them, and the next thing you know, you've spent all this money. So, so it's pulling all that together, and for that reason, the bigger companies, you know, you've got chief marketing officers like you were at Kraft, at, or at uh, Kodak. Kodak, Kodak, I'll get it. And, and we're I wish I were at Kraft. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're, you know, like chief data officers are going to become important. You're going to see them everywhere pretty soon. Mm -hmm.